Hello everyone, Matt from Model Minutes here and welcome back to the workbench. About six months ago, you'll remember that I received this from Airfix and this is the 2020 Airfix Club box. I opted to go for the version which came with the exclusive kit. But this video is not about what's in here. It's about something I can get with what's in here. If you'd like to see a full video on all of the contents of this box, then please check out that one. Today though, I'm going to be focusing on this, the Airfix Club Flying Hours. So quite a few people have messaged me in the past, how do the flying hours work? Well, as of 2020 and for some of the previous years, I'm going to show you how it works. But I have received an email in the last couple of months from Airfix saying that they're actually going to look at changing the Airfix Club yet again. So whether the Airfix flying hours exist in the current format or if they change it to a different format, personally, I'd like to see something where you get code on the box and you can upload it to your own profile on the Airfix website and then pick a kit from there. That would be much easier in this day and age. But Let's see how the current system, or the old system, uh, works. So straight up on the front here, we've got information that we need to fill in. Obviously, I haven't filled this in yet, but I will do it before I send it off. Main things to note are your membership number and your address, because they need to be able to send it back to the right person. And then in here, this is where you stick your flying hours. And I've had other people ask me, is that a free one, or is that just showing you where it goes? Trust me. Airfix aren't giving you anything for free, really. That's not a free coupon, that's just showing you where they go. You need to stick a cardboard co token on top of there. And where do you get these tokens? Well, you get them on the side of your Airfix kits. So for example here, this is my Curtis Hawk box, and on the side there is one flying hour. So cut that out eventually and stick it in there. But I've been very good over the last 20 years or so, and I've actually managed to save up 60 of these little tokens. And it says on the Airfix website that you can use any age of token as long as it's a flying hour. So I'll get those out and we'll see what we've got. There we go. So there's a good selection of them here. Uh, that one's from a quick build. These are all quite old sort of 90s and noughties kits. I've got some which are just singles and others which have more than one on. And I've even got some of these ones that look like propellers and that was uh, sort of 90s and noughties as well. So I've been saving this up for quite some time. I think I've actually got a few more than 60 here. But what I need to do is make sure they're all nice and neat and tidy and stick them on to the book here. So let's get started with that. To be honest, the booklet looks to be quite big, so you've actually got a bit of space. I'm just going to use some of this Yoohoo glue. It's one of my favorite glues to use, actually. Stick it on like that. There you go. Just keep going. Just keep working through. Well, 8 times 4 being 32, that means that if I want to send 60 in, am I going to have a problem? Because I've only got 32 slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and save some space and try and double it up. Possibly on the next row. So if you'll remember, uh, when I did my original video, I think I went into detail about what you can actually get. So if you send in 16 flying hours, you can pick a series one or two kit. Which, if you're going to pick a series one or two kit, which usually retails for about five to ten pounds, and you have to send in postage and packaging fees, which comes to a total of five pounds ninety-five, is that really worth it? You're paying five pounds or six pounds for a kit that would cost five pounds anyway. So you could just go to the shop and get that one yourself. Whereas if you're going to do what I'm doing, which is where you've saved up loads and loads and loads of these tokens, a level, uh, sorry, series seven to nine kit will cost you 60 flying hours. And I actually put a poll up on YouTube as to which ones I should get. So I've basically gone for the most cost effective way of getting one of these kits. Only send the number of flying hours that you need to send. So there's no point me sending 62 because those extra two I'll just be given away. I'll be given away because they can't return any of these tokens if you do send extra ones. 
I can't really go onto the back because that's where I need to put the um, information about which kits I want to get. You'd think that if they were going to say, yeah, send in 60 tokens, they'd give you enough space. That's, abs <laughs> that's absolutely horrendous. Oh dear. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I make that 60. I hope you make it all 60 at home. I've got two left over, which I'll be keeping for the next time when I get my new flying hours passport. Hopefully, Airfix agrees I have sent them 60 there, because that just looks like an absolute mess. Anyway, will it fold now? That'll do, yeah, it's close enough. Um, right, so on the back here, a bit more information there. Uh, you'll notice on here that it says that postage cost is £4.98 per passport order within the UK. But on the website, literally, I'm reading it right now, it says you need to send in £5.95 per passport to cover UK PMP. So obviously postage costs have gone up. So do check the website beforehand because I'd hate for it to turn up at your house and you have to pay extra for your postage. Anyway, so as I said earlier, I've made a poll on YouTube which kit should I get best value for money uh, series seven to nine and you guys have all voted and I said that when it got to a, a thousand votes we'd close it and the winner was the Avro Lancaster B3 in 170 second scale so what I need to do is write that in the box there so the way you do it is you go on their website you figure out which ones are in stock because they won't take pre-orders or sort of out of stock kits and you have to list three kits in case they are out of stock so the first one you guys picked was a I should have written on here first it's not so easy that's the preferred kit okay um, the second choice so in the event that they for some reason can't send out the Lancaster B3 is the Bristol Blenheim Mark 1 Mark 1, 1 slash 48, because I don't want them to get confused and send me the other one. And then the final uh, third place was the Gloucester Meteor from Korea, which is AO9, again, value for money, 184. Cool, so those are my three choices there. I'm going to put a check in, so let's tick check. I'll write one of those out. And I need an envelope. I am returning this to... So I need to send it to the address on the bottom here, which is... Let's make sure I've got the right way up. FX Flying Hours. Let's whack a stamp on there. There you go. Hopefully that will be enough to get to them. I shouldn't imagine it being too heavy. I will put all my information on there and I will write out a check. I'll whack it. Yep, I'll whack it in here. I'm going to do those things off camera. That's in. Yep, that fits. So I'll seal it up and I will pop this in the post. And hopefully the next time you see me in this video, which will be probably be like the next 10 seconds for you, but it'll probably be about a couple of weeks, probably a month, two months for me. Um, as soon as they send me something. See you in a minute. So welcome back. Uh, I've had to go on to my actual work table um, purely because it's arrived and it doesn't fit inside my workspace. So I've had to go bigger than normal onto the work table. So let's see what we've got. And there's the box. There's the box it came in. So it's a big kit. They sent me one of the bigger ones. There we go. Hey, look at that. So, they did have the first choice in stock, the Avro Lancaster B3 Special, the Dam Busters 617 Squadron, fantastic. Lighting might be a little bit off as well because I'm not using my normal lights because the size of the kit is bigger than normal. But um, yeah, this looks to be completely sealed, so this is a brand new product. I actually had an email from them saying they dispatched it because obviously I put in uh, my details and because it's all held on file they sent me an email and when it was going to arrive so I was actually um, surprised by how quick it turned up 
and you're probably wondering well how long did it take to turn up from when I posted the letter it took eight days so just over a week I was actually really impressed that was really quick however you might be able to notice that there is something missing and yes you're quite right I should have another flying hours passport sadly it seems that they've neglected to send that one out so me being me and wanted to make sure that I was supposed to be entitled to another one I sent them an email uh, after I received this so they emailed me back and said that they're gonna fix it and because obviously the magic of editing just under a week later it should be in here there we go it came with a little compliment slip there we go that was attached onto there so cool yeah a um, little bit disappointed that they forgot this initially but it does mean now that I can send off for some more provided of course I've got enough flying hours to stick on there but yeah so in a nutshell that is the airfix flying hours as I've said at the time I'm making this video so what's that June July 2021 that sort of period there was talk that airfix are changing their club so this may not be completely accurate uh, in the future but at the very least it's a snapshot of how the system used to be anyway at some point I will do an unboxing on this kit sadly that's outside the scope of this video but if you'd like to see that let me know down in the comments and let me know if this has been helpful to you has it helped you understand the airfix flying hours system and do you think it's out of date do you think they need to update it because uh, sending everything off by post and you know checks and postal orders is a bit old hat especially in the day of you know instant messaging technology and bank transfers and the like honorable mention to my patrons over on patreon and my channel members here on youtube Massive thanks to these guys on screen, and if you'd like to join them and find out what kind of perks you can get, take a look at the links in the description. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our newest member, Soup06, as a member on YouTube. Welcome to the club. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button and let me know down in the comments. If you're new here and you want to see more modeling content, make sure you click that subscribe button with notifications on so you never miss a modeling upload. Finally, all that's left to say is a massive thank you to you for watching this one, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.